So welcome to another lab video for grade 9 advanced science. This is part of the unit that called elements and compounds. Um, we know that compounds are made up of elements. The elements are found on the periodic table. There's about 118 of those. But compounds are almost infinite in their, in their number and variety. Um, in this experiment, we're going to be looking at the particles that make up compounds, specifically molecules, an incredibly small thing, and we're going to be trying to find the height of that molecule using a meter stick. Okay, so the, um, the molecule that we're going to be looking at or working with today is called oleic acid. Oleic acid is a type of fatty acid, um, and so in particular, um, the solution that we're going to be using is made up of um, one part oleic acid for every 200 parts of alcohol. The alcohol that we're using as the solvent here is 2-propanol. So Ms. Watts, oleic acid, you said it's a fatty acid, it's kind of an oily liquid, isn't it? It is. And so putting it onto water would be like spilling oil on water. It just sort of spreads out like an oil slick, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah, and the reason we're using this solution instead of pure oleic acid is because if one drop of pure oleic acid could spread out into a slick maybe, you know, hundreds or thousands of meters in diameter. So we've made a dilute solution by putting one mil of the acid in 200 mils of alcohol. So next we're going to actually perform the experiment for you. This is an experiment students do at grade 9 in this unit. We've got a circular plastic tray and some tap water. So I'm just going to pour the tap water into the tray. This is almost a liter of tap water. It has to be deep enough, maybe about half a centimeter deep or so. That should be good. And now we'll just wait for the surface to settle. And Ms. Watts, what are you going to be adding to that? So we're going to be adding very fine powder to the surface of the water. Um, and so this is going to be important because when we add our drop of oleic acid solution, um, it's going to cause the powder to spread out um, to the perimeter of the pan. That's going to allow us to measure the diameter um, for which the slick spread out. So this oleic acid, although it's kind of yellowy when you see it in the beaker like this, when you put a single drop of that in the water, it would be invisible. So the powder will let us visualize it. Okay, so you go ahead and add the powder. Now, if you don't put enough powder on the surface of the water, then it doesn't do its job. It doesn't actually um, make it visible, the, the circle of oleic acid as it spreads out. But on the other hand, if you put too much powder, that's also a source of error because too much powder will make it harder for the oleic acid to spread out. So it will spread out to a smaller circle than it otherwise would have. That's pretty good. We're using a little bit extra powder for the sake of the video today. Now on the original sheet, it told you that we're using a plastic pipette that has, um, we measured that 25 drops from this pipette gives us one milliliter of solution. So you're going to want to make sure you've written down both of those pieces of information. The solution is again one part or one milliliter oleic acid for every 200 milliliters of solution. And also that there's 25 drops from this pipette will give you one milliliter. Now, Ms. Watts, if I put one drop onto the oleic acid, onto the water surface, most of that drop is actually the propanol. Yeah, and what's going to happen to that alcohol? So that alcohol we know is soluble in water, so it's going to dissolve in the water and the oleic acid component of the solution is going to sit on the surface of the water. Okay, so when it sits on there it spreads out and we make a small assumption, don't we? We assume that the oil slick of the oleic acid spreads out until it's one molecule thick. Okay, that's an important thing to understand. We're going to assume that this layer of oleic acid is one molecule thick. So if we can measure the height of that layer, the thickness of that layer, then we know the height of the oleic acid molecule. So we're going to be using a meter stick. This meter stick is 
uh, very visible, I think, in the video, the numbers and the scale, it's measured in centimeters. So 10, 20, 30, 40 centimeters, right? So the entire pie plate has a diameter of about 40 centimeters. We're going to be measuring the diameter of the oil slick itself, right? So I'll add the one drop of the oleic acid mixture. Ms. Watts will then position the meter stick and I'll, I'll let you know what the measurement is in the video. So here we go. Now when you're adding this, you want to be sure you add just one drop and you add it to the center and you place it close to the surface of the water when you add the drop. So here we go. We'll let it spread out. And now it appears to me 30, it's a little bit more than halfway. I'd say it's about 30, well actually it's about halfway. I'd say about 35 or 34 centimeters would be the diameter. You notice the edges get all uh, disfigured, right? So you kind of have to want to make this measurement of the diameter pretty quickly. So that was trial one, 34, 35 centimeter diameter. You can choose one of those and write it down. We'll dump that water out. And we've got two more trays. We're going to do this pretty quickly. I'll add the water again. Ms. Watts can add the powder to the surface. We just want to make sure the water is settled before we add the, the powder. All right, we'll just give it a second to, to settle down. Make sure you have your own data table at home. You've recorded the concentration of the solution, one milliliter of oleic acid for every 200 mils of solution. You've also recorded that 25 drops from our little plastic pipette gives us one milliliter of, of a solution. You're also recording the diameter of the oleic acid circle in each of the three trials that we're going to do. That's great. So I'll add one more drop and Ms. Watts this time you can make the measurement call yourself. So we'll just have to do it quickly before the circle starts contracting. So here we go. <laughs> and I screwed that up, didn't I? But I think it'll work. We'll try. So I think that one's a little bigger, maybe about 36. Yeah. Now, it reached the edge of the pan here, so that's a little bit of a concern. But we notice over here the powder thicker. is yeah, it's thicker, so the circle is not spreading out to be the full diameter of the pan, otherwise we would need a larger pan. All right, so our third trial, Ms. Watts can add the water this time, and I'll be the pizza chef. I'll add the powder to the surface. So again, remember that the solution is 199 milliliters of alcohol for every one milliliter of the oleic acid. And when we put a drop on the water, the alcohol part mixes with the water. Remember that word miscible. Alcohol and water are miscible, so the alcohol mixes with the water. But then the oleic acid, which is like oil, spreads across the surface like an oil slick. And we're assuming it's one molecule thick. Since I screwed up the last time, <laughs> we'll let Ms. Watts put one drop of oleic acid in the center, and then I'll measure the diameter. Ready? Yep. Perfect. And this guy's diameter, this one's actually a little bit bigger again, might be about 36, 37 centimeters. 36 or 37 centimeters. Choose one of those numbers and write that down as your diameter. So let's just very quickly go over what you might do with these measurements. Um, if we know the diameter of the circle, then we can calculate the radius of the circle. With the radius, you can then say what the area of the circle was. Now remember that the height is what we're trying to find, the thickness. Well, the height can be calculated by taking the volume of oleic acid and dividing by that area that it's spread out in. Volume divided by area gives you height. But the volume of the oleic acid, that's the tricky part, right? Mm -hmm. We added one drop of the, of the solution, but that was not pure oleic acid. 25 drops gives us a milliliter, and of that, only one in 200 parts was the oleic acid. Right. So using those numbers, you need to figure out the volume of oleic acid that was actually applied to the surface, 
calculate the area of the circle, and then calculate the height. All right, so good luck. There's going to be some word problems in our class and worksheets like this that, that go with this experiment as well.